So another beer from Sleeman's, but one that I've never seen before and I'm kind of interested to see what this is all about. So let's get into this, guys. Beer, 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 beer. beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for the Ruski Ruski Review. And today, the beer I have for you, again, is by the Sleeman Brewing Company out in Guelph, Ontario. But this is one that I've never seen before, never heard of before, until I got out here to Calgary. And this is a steeped coffee ale coming in at 5% alcohol by volume, unlisted IBUs. It's nowhere on the website. Untapped is also showing it coming in at no IBUs <clears throat> or an unknown IBU. So let's crack this open. Again, a very clear, clear bottle. Actually, we'll need to crack it open. Twist off. Macro beers. Gotta love it for that, right? Yeah, let's pour it up into this Nagano 1998 little little glass. Little Olympic style glass. This is steeped coffee. Steeped coffee ale. So it's not a porter, it's not a stout, it doesn't have those colors. This is a very dark, I guess more of mahogany sort of a color, a little bit of red, a little bit of brown going on, a little bit of off-white head on top. A very clear beer. There's no uh, no touch of haze or anything. It's hard to see through, but that's just because of the uh, the color of it, how dark it is. Um, but a steeped coffee ale. So I'm gonna go with a like a dark ale or, or like a, or a dark brown ale sort of style. On this one, it doesn't say just a steeped coffee ale, which is a, not really a beer, <laughs> a beer style, but let's have a smell. Yeah, smells like a pot of coffee. Oh, I'll put my nose in there. I don't want that. I don't need to snort this beer. That's not what beer is for. But yeah, steeped coffee. A little bit of molasses, a little bit of roasty malts. Mm. Smells pretty good. Let's have a sip. Okay, okay. Nice coffee flavors for sure. Um, and then just some, not not too much else really. It's just just straight up, sort sort of like a like a cold brew coffee almost. That's sort of how I would uh, how I would describe it. Well, cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Mm-hmm. It's like a cold brew coffee with some nice, just regular beer maltiness to it. Uh, there's no real, can't really find any real other flavors in this beer other than just beer maltiness. When you think of beer, the flavor that comes to mind, just the traditional flavor that your parents used to have, that's it. Coffee, a little bit of the beer flavor, but accompany both. They both accompany each other really, really, really well. Actually, quite surprised about this beer. You know, it's not trying to be a porter. It's not trying to be a stout. It's uh, well, what I'm tapped is saying a dark ale. And I and I agree. It's this coffee infused dark ale. I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not a bad flavor. It's actually quite nice. Very enjoyable. Um, I'm getting a little high here. Yeah. Edible's kicking in. I like that. But no, pretty nice beer. Very, very surprised. Like when some of these macro brewers get in this stuff a little bit, you know, fancy, I do get a little worried. And I get a little worried because I'm, I think I always think maybe um, they're not going to put in the time and effort into that particular brew. Uh, into that particular brew. But then you have to always think that they make a ton of beer the same beer all the frickin' time, and it tastes exactly the same. So I don't think they're brewing, they're going out there brewing bad brews. I think they can make amazing brews. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just that us drinking craft beer, we realize that Canadian and Bud and other companies alike brew beer for the masses that everybody can enjoy. So when it comes to something like this, you look steeped coffee out from Sleeman's, mm, get a little worried. Is it going to be really steeped coffee-like or is it just going to be a half-assed on job? 
uh, to appeal to the masses. But this, very, very nice. Mm hmm. Nice coffee flavors. A little sweet, decent bitter though. I would put this at about 30 IBUs just because of, a, it's not a hoppy bitterness by any means, it's more of the uh, the dark black coffee richness, sort of um, uh, sort of bitterness off it, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mouthfeel, moderate mouthfeel, still great. A little, little bit of like a woodsiness, a little bit of smokiness even coming off there. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous beer. Finally, uh, well, since, you know, there wasn't anything on the website, sleeman.ca, I went to the Our Beers, and we got the original Draft, Light, Clear 2.0, Honey Brown, Cream Ale, Silver Creek, India Pale Ale, uh, Rousseau's Dark, and Fine Porter. The Rousseau's Dark, nope, definitely not it. What's this Fine Porter, though? That sounds kind of interesting. Oh, that doesn't even look like a goddamn Porter. Okay. Nope, not on here. So I'm not sure when this beer or when this style came out, where it's available. But that's pretty cool. Finally, moving over to Untapped, then the Steeped Brew Coffee Ale from Sleeman Brewery has been given a 3.39 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of 336 ratings. This was actually added uh, in late September, so I guess pretty, pretty damn new. Mm -hmm. uh, one person says, not too bad, would benefit from some better coffee. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Still pretty damn good. Can't really complain. Mm. And it smells nice too. And it's spilling. It's okay. Cheers everybody on the final sip. Let's get right to ratings. Solid, solid beer. Sleeman Steeped Coffee Ale. Tastes like more of like a cold brew coffee with a little bit of beer in there. That might sound really weird, but both flavors flow miraculously. Definitely more coffee forward than any other flavor. So you're not gonna go wrong with this if you like uh, if you like your stouts and you like your porters um, or your black ale or something like that, your, your darker beers. You might actually enjoy this. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. This is a solid, a solid 7 out of 10 for me. I, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. Very, very enjoyable. As for presentation, again, not much going on. Nothing on the website. Um, with that said, 0.5 out of 10. Sorry. There's just nothing here. It says the alcohol, where it's made, and the name. Nothing else, so that's where I land on a presentation. But beautiful, beautiful beer. Well, guys, with all that said, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Bruski, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>